We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> okay, we're, we're good. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video. So we're just gonna be doing a part two to like the big like study abroad Q&A that I did uh, about two weeks ago. I got a ton more questions from you guys and I tried to organize them, but it just, it didn't go, it didn't go well. So instead it's just gonna be a big jumbly mess. I'm gonna start with the spiciest question because it's the spiciest question. What did you think about the whole uni drinking culture clubbing nights out part? So this is a very loaded question and I will just say right off the bat like I may be the wrong person to ask about this. While I did have some fun nights out, I am not a clubbing person if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Me in a club is like, I don't even know, like, it's like, I'm just like your awkward cousin, Kevin, who like stands in the corner and like doesn't know what to do with his hands. Like, that's just, that is the, an, a true image of me in a club. Like, it's just not a place that I particularly vibe with. However, that being said, I did go a couple of times. I went during Freshers Week. For all of you people who have not experienced European, or American drinking culture, I will say I saw one major difference or a couple major differences. So I'll say like in American society, a night out is like pretty much the, the intention is to get obliterated like pretty, pretty quickly. Well, in Europe, you want to, they still want to get obliterated, but like over over a much longer period of time like the night lasts a lot longer the drinking culture they definitely drink a lot more than we do and you may be thinking like oh no they could no they do like most europeans probably could drink us all under the table i am already a lightweight and so i was made fun of not made fun of a lot honestly i really liked like pub culture of just like going and having a drink and just like chatting. There's always like live music. I was really loved that aspect of it. Like if I'm gonna go have a drink somewhere, like that's really what I like to do. I would rather be around people that I really like. I think either country, that's just kind of a good rule of thumb. You always have more fun when the people around you are like people who actually care about you and you can have fun with and let your hair down. I just think that's always, that's like a, a universal rule. Okay, so the next question is, planning a trip in the UK, what's the best way to find work slash hostels while also traveling and seeing places? It depends on how long you are going. If you're going for a short amount of time, research hostels. That is my literal number one advice for life. To give an example, when we were going to Dublin, I started looking into hostels for me and my friend Teresa. <laughs> the hostels that were available that weekend had some of the scariest reviews I have ever read in my whole entire life. People were, it was like, they were screaming until 3 a.m. illegal things in the rooms. And I was like, oh, maybe let's not do that as female travelers. I started looking up Airbnb, Airbnbs in the area instead. And I found an Airbnb that was the cutest thing ever for, I want to say half the price a night of a hostel between me and my friend. Do do your research on hostels and compare them with an Airbnb if you're going by yourself or with other people. Honestly, if you go with other people, it really cuts down on costs. And if you are going for longer, I'm gonna talk about World Packers because I do think it's a really cool thing. And you can use code Katie Blake for $10 off when you sign up for their services. Um, I am an affiliate for World Packers. However, I just, I honestly, I had a really great experience working with them. I think it's a really cool way to see culture in a different way than just being a tourist. Basically, you get a free place to stay, free being that you pay for it with your labor, which you do have to be careful with that kind of thing, I'll say for anything. And as an American, I was like, I don't trust anybody. Like, I'm not doing this. And then I went and we honestly had the best time. Yeah, honestly, I think that's a really great way. I have a whole video about it. If you're interested, I will try to link it down below. This question is how to meet students my own age on exchange. I'm 22. Best way, well, A, if you go with a program, they are supposed to hook you up with people in your program. My program did that second semester 
first semester, eh, not so much. They, maybe it got us all together like a month in, but by that point I had made other friends and so had everybody else in my group. So it was just kind of like a moot point. Not a moot point, like there were still really nice people in my uh, thing, but it was, like the dynamic is very different than if you come in like that first week and everybody's trying to make friends. Second semester, I made a couple friends through like a group chat that my program set up. However, if you are not going with the program, Facebook is going to be your friend. And honestly, I made a whole video about how to make friends in the UK or just abroad in general. Facebook, like people really do meet up from Facebook abroad. It's a really big thing. So get on there and just go to a thing. People would just like meet in parks and it can be really scary to go to those kinds of things by yourself. I promise you, don't overthink it. Just go and start talking to the first person you meet and like, it's gonna go really well. Like, I mean, not really well, but like, it's, it went a lot better every single time than I thought it would. Everyone was pretty open to meeting other people. Yeah, it was really nice. Best places to grocery shop in the UK. Tesco. You can get like the Tesco, what is it? The Tesco card. That's a, that's a pretty good one. I went to Sainsbury's a lot. The co-op, everyone kept telling me it was expensive and it is expensive compared to the other ones. I will say it was very funny to me how often people would complain about the prices of groceries because I always found everything to be really, really cheap like in all of the grocery stores. I think the co-op is, it is more expensive for sure, but compared to American prices at the moment and I came home and I was not ready for inflation prices, it's so expensive to live in America. <laughs> but yeah, Sainsbury's is pretty good. All the places have like those, um, like the self checkout. There's usually like one guy, like in all the stores, that's pretty much it. And the greatest thing about the UK is there is literally a grocery store like every other block. I was initially worried like, oh, cause in the city I live in right now, there's two grocery stores. And the second one we just got like within walking distance. And the second one's really expensive. And the other one's actually also very expensive. So that's really fun. How to cope with loneliness when studying abroad? Yeah, man. I feel like I've covered like some of this in some of my videos, like talking about homesickness and things, but coping with loneliness. What I will say is Take your relationships at face value. I don't know if that makes any sense. I think studying abroad really teaches you to lean on people that are around you that you don't really know super well. Like I know for me, it takes a really long time for me to really make a friend. I hate to say that it really depends on the people around you because I don't like giving that advice because it's it's like as a as a person myself like I just want to always be like oh I can fix it myself and like sometimes it really is the people around you and like if you have met the right people that don't make you feel lonely because I think there's a really big separation between like having a lot of friends and acquaintances and then feeling lonely. Like I think that you can actively have a lot of relationships and friendships, but still feel very lonely. What I will say is try not, to, I mean, I think quality over quantity is just always my rule for life. In a real way, like I met a lot of people who like made me feel lonely you know what i mean like you just meet certain people and you just kind of know in the back of your your head you're just like oh like these people don't care about me like and they won't ever and i think grasping onto that feeling and just being like i don't i don't actually need this like that has always guided me towards people who really make me feel seen and make me feel cared about and I think that if you extend that same care, and I think I was honestly just thinking about this the other day, like I'm like very philosophical, but I think I don't like everybody. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's like a, a harsh statement, but I think once you accept that like not everybody is gonna like you, it makes it okay for like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like everybody and I'm not going to put energy into people that A, I don't think really like me or that B, like I don't really like, you know, studying abroad is a really short 
time, especially if you're going for a semester. Like it is literally going to be gone in the blink of an eye. The golden rule, treat people how you want to be treated. If I, okay, first of all, if I don't really vibe with someone, I, look, I'm not going to like have beef with them. Like I, I'm just going to let them live. Like I, that's fine. I don't need to give that any <laughs> the hands. I don't need to, I don't need to give that ener any energy that helped. I don't even know. That was very that got very philosophical. Next question, are there any tools or facilities provided by the university for students to cope with the different education system or style? In my experience, I had a personal tutor in the university. So that was somebody in the university that I was linked up with, like a staff member. And if I had any questions, I could go talk to them. My personal tutor was so nice. I only met with her one time because I only needed to meet with her one time. However, if I think if I did run into further, like if I did run into problems, I would feel, I would have felt in good hands going to talk to her. I mean, as far as coming from like an international perspective, honestly, finding other people who've moved from your country to that particular country can understand your particular like cultural struggles because and i'll say like other international students and international people like will will baseline understand what you're going through however having somebody to talk to who like specifically lived in your culture can understand like the the difficulties that you may be having in your new one. So I don't know if you know anybody who is maybe above you in school that could give you some advice, that could be a good avenue. But as far as the university, I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. This person wrote, what was the biggest culture shock? Do you have any reverse cult culture shock when you returned? I am, I am currently having so much culture shock. I think the biggest one, honestly, was like <laughs> the fact that like being a nerd is kind of like socially valuable over there. <laughs> I don't know if that's like, maybe sounds like a little weird, but it's definitely not here. Like I had a class the other day and somebody actually said to me, no offense, but you look like you read books. And I was like, like that just really honestly like had me taken aback. I was like, <laughs> Where am I? Actually, where am I? I'd like to leave. Because when I was abroad, like, I remember my friend turned to me one day and she was like, I can't wait till one day when I'm well read. And I was like, where am I? <laughs> like, this place is awesome. I can't, I was just, that really made me laugh. I've been going through it in a real way, guys. <laughs> like, what does a person look like that looks like they read books? Like. <laughs> Like, also, why is that an insult? <laughs> Never start a sentence with no offense. Like, that is just offensive. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, this person wrote, Were there any particular things you said yes to with very low expectations, but ended up really enjoying? Honestly, my honest answer is World Packers doing a work exchange. I thought the idea of it sounded really cool, but like the American in me was like, I don't trust others. And so I think I went into it thinking that it was gonna be a little more scary than um, it actually was. And it was just like one of the most bizarre weeks of my life in the best way. Like it was just really, really fun. So yeah, I'll say doing a work, work exchange. We just like met the randomest people and we got, you know, involved in like, not involved, but in like the small town drama, there was an incident at the pub and we were there. And then we literally got home and somebody had like from the town had called our host about the incident. And um, it was a big scandal and we, we got to witness it. And we like met a lot of locals from this like tiny little town in the middle of nowhere, Scotland, like literally in the highlands, um, surrounded by mountains, just absolutely breathtaking. Um, place to be and it was just like such a wonderful weird week of my life. I yeah, it was great I am an American high school senior thinking about applying to University of Edinburgh What are your thoughts on the advantages of studying four years in another country versus studying? Um, abroad for one year Honestly, if I could go back in time, I would have applied to go for four years. I I think at the time when I was 18, I was really scared by the idea of going abroad. And so I didn't even consider it. However, I was, and I don't know, I don't know how I would have handled it if I was 18. So, I mean, hindsight's 2020. 20. 
I think it's going away for college in and of itself is a really scary, like big life changing thing that you do. And like my first semester of college was really, really hard. I went to a school out of state, I live about like 10 hours away by car and like about an hour flight from home. And just that transition is a lot. So I can't imagine what it would have been like homesickness wise to move abroad on top of all of that. So I will say like, I think it depends on who you are as a person and what you think you can handle. However, if you can power through that first semester, I just, I really loved my year abroad and it was really sad to leave and I had made this really, really wonderful life for myself that I could have seen going, going onward. Uh, however, in studying abroad for one year is a very different experience. Like, if you go for four years, you are going to experience a good chunk of your youth in that other country. Like a lot of your socialization, I don't even, not even social, yeah, no, like, so, like, I don't even know, like adult socialization will be in another country. So, I mean, that is something to consider. That's something that you do want. And I think that you do have to be a little bit more sure because it can be hard to go back on if you don't love it. However, I mean, I just, I, I fell in love with life there that I think it, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it's, it's like a really hard question to answer. And I think either one is probably going to be a very valuable experience to you. It depends. I don't know. It really depends. <laughs> I mean, that's terrible advice, but I mean, that's just, that's what I got. Yeah, I think on the friends thing, I really, encourage you guys to go check out some of my other videos and i'm not just like saying that to like like be like watch my other videos which like you should watch my other videos <laughs> um i go way further into detail on these topics in like full dedicated videos so i'll, I'll link a playlist so if those things if you're wondering about those things you can look there thank you guys so much for watching it's always really fun getting to actually like directly answer you. Super cool. Love that. I'm going to answer your actual comments soon because I keep forgetting to do that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> ba, 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 ba.